Hey guys, so today we are going to be going through some stupid Donald Trump tweets and you can see them right now because I actually downloaded an app to where it will allow me to do that. Yay! So, I decided I'd go through these make another video on this. I made one on this before, except for I didn't have this thing that I have now. So, it's like, you guys couldn't really see what I was talking about. But now you can. So, this one right here... And I'm, you can tell I'm moving it. It's like where the center of the thing is. Um, I am pleased to report that the U.S. has made substantial progress in our trade talks with China and on important structural issues, including intelligence and property production, technology transfer, agriculture, services, currency, and many other issues. As a result of these very productive talks... I'll be delayed the I'll be delaying the US incre increase in tariffs now scheduled for March 1st. Assuming both sides make it make additional progress, we will be planning a summit for President XI and myself at Mar-a-Lago to conclude an agreement. A very good weekend for US and China. Okay, so that was obviously 4 days ago. There are some issues with this, however. First off, he's the reason we have to do these talks in the first place. If he had just stopped being a bitch and thought that his little agenda was more important than everyone else's need to do things, then maybe we wouldn't be wasting our time with something that was already talked about before and we had already made agreements on. Right? Okay, so now let's go through. Let's see if we can find something else stupid. So funny to watch people who have failed for years. They got nothing telling me how to negotiate with North Korea, but thanks anyways. They tell you how to negotiate because you're a fucking dumbass when it comes to politics. Okay? You're not good at politics. You're an okay businessman at best, but you're not a politician. The only thing that makes you a politician is how much you lie about everything. Can you guys disagree with that? Mm, no, I didn't think so. Okay, so... I don't know how many days we're going to scroll through. I kind of started on that tweet because that one was so stupid. But... Now it's like, what are we going to do? Also, I have no idea how good the mic is. So, let me know in the comments how much you're actually getting of what I'm saying. That would be nice. Um... Chairman Kim, nobody cares. President XI, don't care. Very productive talks. Okay, you, you use like these use the same words, productive, and several other words that I've already seen like 200 times in just like the last few days. It's pretty bad. Still scrolling. So great being with you both in the over office. I don't even know who those people are. There is no one shred of evidence that this president's done anything constitutional or anything else wrong. Graham Ledger, thank you, Graham, so much. This guy, Graham, I'm pretty sure is on his payroll or something. There's no way anyone can say that with a straight face, that he's not lying or doing anything unconstitutional, because he is. I mean, he's basically wanting to shut down a government over a fucking wall... That everyone can tell him without even having to go through all the trouble that, oh, by the way, you're not getting your fucking funding for this, you fucking moron. Okay? That's out of the way. Once again, I have no idea how long I'm going to be scrolling through this because there is so much stupidity on this. Also, I have no idea where... It... Okay, so it's been 4.12, so... I have to click on that little thing up there, as you saw... To see how much time I had on here. Because it doesn't like show me in any other corners. So there's that. Um, has done an outstanding job for the people of Texas. He is, a strong, he is strong on crime, the border, the second amendment. And loves our military and vets. John has my complete and total endorsement. Make America great again. Well, the only way to make America great again. Is if we kicked your ass right out of it. Simple as that. Okay, so also, 
after this one. If you guys feel like me making maybe a different types of tweet video, like maybe smartest tweets, funniest tweets, maybe tweets from certain wrestlers, football players, whatever, I can do those next. Crazy, Bernie has just entered the race. I wish him well. You probably shouldn't because he's probably going to kick your ass right out of the office. Just saying. In fact, it's been dick debated that if... Hillary would have put her support behind Bernie instead of the other way around. Bernie would be the president right now. Could be true. Actually, it is true. Let's be honest. Also, I have no idea where my mic is. So, I don't know what's getting better. Okay, I'm probably going to do like a couple more tweets and then end the video after that. Because I just wanted to test this out and see how well it goes. And hopefully it does go well, because I do want to do more videos like this if I can't use my PS4 all the time. The biggest abuse of power and corruption scandal in our history, and it's much worse than we thought. Andrew McCabe admitted to plotting the cope when he was serving in the FBI before he was fired for lying and leaking. Lying and leaking. You lie every time your mouth opens, Donald. Every time. I haven't heard you say anything true, basically, ever. And leaking your shit, yeah, that's why he was fired or whatever, because he was leaking your shit and making you look like the piece of shit you really are instead of this little leader you want to make yourself out to be. Go back to your little celebrity apprentice or whatever the fuck they call that show and stay out of the White House. It's that simple. I'm not even going to read that regimen bullshit. I already know I'm going to get triggered by that, probably. Stupid RBT. Uh, there are lots of explaining to do to the millions of people who had just elected a president who they really like and who has done a great job for them with the military, that's economy, and so much more. This was the, this was the illegal and treasonous insurance policy in full action. Not going to make any type of comment on that. Okay, so I think that's going to be the last one I do. Because frankly, there's only so much stupidity I can deal with in any given time. And Donald Trump in like five or six minutes has made it to where I don't want to hear any more of his shit. So thank you guys for watching this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.